One of the larger themes globally we're finding right now is in the environmental theme. Uh, energy use globally is set to increase about 50% over the next 20 years, partially because of population growth, urbanization in the emerging market, and just overall consumption growth. Uh, the obvious challenge is how to decrease the footprint of the greenhouse gases despite this increase in energy consumption. Just to be clear, it's not just the cars and the coal plants that generate uh, the carbon footprint, it's pretty much any decision that we make during the day. Whether you're having a, you know, a hamburger or sending an email or you know, plowing rich soil, you are uh, leaving an associated carbon footprint with that action. One of the sub-themes that plays into the larger environmental theme is building efficiency. Buildings consume about one-third of all the energy globally and emit approximately the same amount to maybe a little bit less carbon. Um, when we say building efficiency, we're talking about heating, ventilation, air conditioning, lighting, um, automation systems, elevators. A, it's a much better industry than it was 10, 15 years ago. The number of players consolidated, and it's what we call, like call top-heavy industry where top players are well behaved. Second of all, um, the, the industry standards, whether it's you know, energy efficiency or it's the refrigerant pollutants and things like that, are ever-changing and only the large players can keep up with this type of investment. Uh, also, the systems are becoming more complex, so if you think of it, it resembles uh, you know, a car industry. Fifteen years ago, you can be able to take your car to a mechanic and now you probably have to go see the dealer. So there's a bigger service revenue attached to the component, which is obviously higher margin and higher quality uh, stream of income. And, and finally, just overall, in this emerging markets, as people are graduating from you know, middle, into middle class and moving into more urban settings, most of these areas are hot areas, Southeast Asia, South America, etc. An interesting sub theme that we're finding right now is the growth in data centers. Uh, just one data center can consume more electricity than a smaller city. And uh, right now at the moment, 2% of world, world electricity is being consumed by these data centers. But if, when, I, when I talk to my technology analyst and he tells me how you know, Facebook and Google and Alibaba, etc., are spending tens of billions of dollars a year, when we do that math, in 10 years, that number is going to be 10% of world uh, electricity consumption. So we found some interesting investments in the area of heat management, electricity management for these data centers. So it's a growing market that has, you know, also, you know, this, the environmental sub-need to, to, to address this ever-growing problem.